hi if this is your first time in this channel and you haven't subscribed yet you might consider subscribing by hitting that red subscription button down below okay in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you paypal subscription or recurring payments using php programming languages and there are about six to seven steps to carry out this operation i'll be reading them out the first step is we are going to create our billing plan. The second step will create our billing agreement. Third step will execute our billing agreement. The first step we are going to store our user subscriptions to database. And the fifth step we are going to check for our active subscriptions. Then the sixth step we are now going to upload our files and test our codes online. Then if there is time, the final step will be we'll is to cancel our subscription using paypal php code all right so if you are ready for this tutorial stick with me to the end of this video i know it might be long but you will definitely learn a new thing okay all right all right before we start i'll be showing you a quick run through of my starter files this is my database folder where i have my database connection then image folder where I have my image which will be displayed in the sources page then under services folder I have my create underscore agreement and also uh, where I'll be creating my billing plan as well then under vendor here we'll be downloading two things the paper php sdk which will be downloading from github I'll leave the link in the descri description below and also we'll We'll be making use of composer to download the paper vendor folder if you have not watched my previous video please do so that's what we'll be needing inside here okay then uh, the rest of the files has the subscription council php file the, my index page that's my home page then sources page then watch videos page which will be the uh, customers will be redirected in this page those that have made a successful subscription so before we talk with him much of our time let's get to it right away the first step here to take is to create billing plan but before then in my index.php file i have an a form field which have two hidden input fields with index name of plan underscore name and also plan description we'll be making use of that in our create underscore plan php file so the thing we're going to do here we'll head over to our browser uh we'll leave this link in the description box below scroll up under billing plan object we're going to copy that or this or code and paste it here okay and go back to copy a billing plan activation code then we'll paste that here okay we'll be making changes to this code according to our taste but before then when we head over to our home page we have two hidden input fields having index name of plan underscore name and plan underscore description with values of this and that okay so we're going to be making use of if statements here if Not empty. All right, I'm going to be closing curly bracket. I will delete that there and place it just at the end of this code okay copy this so once this basically means once the user clicks on this subscribe button okay it will run the rest of the code okay so we'll be keep picking up our our name from here so we'll delete that okay and the description do the same here the index name is plan underscore description okay then the set type is fixed okay fixed amount is charged for the subscription 
for the number of months uh, planned for or chosen by the user okay if you set to infinite which means it will continue to charge whatever the amounts we placed until the user cancels it i'm just going to leave this in capital letter it also works with small letter so okay all right under uh, plan definition uh, we then set our payment definition object which allows us to set when we will bill for a monthly plan we only want to charge the customer once a month so but if you want to charge the customer weekly or yearly you change this to weekly or yearly okay we leave it at regular because it's a subscription integration then the frequency interval we're going to change it to once because we want to build the customer every month once in a month then this cycle in our development environment we have a platform where the customer will choose the number of months that's number of cycles he or she wants to pay for okay so we're going to remove this and put uh, global post variable with index name of what we have there index name of what number of no, no underscore months so index name of underscore months all right so our value our amount we want to charge the customer is 29 dollars we leave the currency as that okay then in shipping we set shipping fees if you are using a subscription bus type service where you need to send out a physical product for this i will just set it to zero okay we'll leave that at zero then under merchant preferences in this code the merchant preference contain appropriate callback urls merchant preference is where uh is where you will tell people what to do once the user has successfully subscribed okay so i will add my domain name here whatever your domain name is let's say example example.com sorry whatever but i'm making use of localhost so i'll just say localhost with the phone number of 30308. I think that's what I have. But if you are on live server, you enter your domain name then then subscription. It is in the folder of tutorial. Under subscription. Yes, tutorial under subscription. That's all I have there. So once the person has made a subscription, I want to return the person to the index, the index page. I will pass a variable which I will use get global to use in my other uh, PHP file. I'll leave that here. Okay. So we copy this, place it here. So for set cancel URL, I will just return the person back to the index page. Once this happens, it will direct the customer back to the home page if he or she decided to change their mind on the course of subscribing. Okay. All right. So the setup fee, we are going to leave the setup fee to be zero. Don't want to charge. But if you have development environment where you sell softwares you can uh, if you want to charge them for the set of fee for the first time you can add the amount there as well so next step here is to create a plan we now need to de uh, define a, a billing agreement first we'll process our plan with paper and also create it to activate it okay um Activating a billing plan is required to prepare the billing agreement. The following code, which is uh, this code, shows how to activate a, a created plan by patching up the paper model array uh, instances. Okay, so once the plan 
is created, you will now move to building the to building agreements and then directing the user to pay per site for payments. But for them, I'm going to require a Create underscore agreement PHP file. Okay. Although I'm not, it's, not, it's still empty, but I'll be needing code to run here. All right. Now I need to find a way to run all this uh, code once the user pushes this subscribe button. Okay. So I'll scroll up then. Okay, this code means if it's not empty, you post name with an index name of subscribe, the button, see, with the index name of what subscribe. If the button is being pushed, you will now include this uh, create underscore plan PHP file. All this code will now run. All right. Look at the file part is in services. Okay. Which will have your under services will have our create plan. That is why we had that forward slash dot before forward slash okay all right now we'll now head over to our create agreements dot php file okay the next thing we're going to do we're going to head over to our browser where we are going to be copying the billing okay the billing agreement okay we're going to copy that here i will leave this link in the description box below now scroll down copy this as well Okay. The billing agreement tells PayPal when to start charging our user. Okay. And the time format must be in ISO 8601 date uh, format. Okay. Then I will, my start date variable will have a custom start date variable with a PHP date function. Okay, lucky the PHP date function has a built-in operator for this uh, uh, C string. Okay, so you can add the current date using this. All right, so we'll set our name. Our base name it will be YouTube Video Streaming Service. YouTube Video Streaming Service. The description will be learn paper subscription payments integration. Okay, and the start date I will pick up my start date from this start date variable. Okay, all right. Here now we are going to set our plan ID. We'll get our plan ID from create underscore plan dot php file. Okay, we are going to get it over here. Okay, this is we're going to get our plan ID. We're going to get our plan ID from here. Uh, but I'm going to change the variable from plan to patched patched plan. Okay, so all right so that it doesn't conflict with uh, all this other variable okay so I'm going to clean this and paste it there then we're going to access our agreement ID with paper get ID function all right um, this is a default uh, shipping address okay we don't need to touch that 
um, this will change when the user changes its uh, shipping address or when the user imputes that but for the default I uh, will leave it at that okay okay here we will create the agreement and redirect the user to PayPal to confirm the subscription information okay so the only thing we need to do here is to um, add the location where the user will be redirected and uh, location so we're going to concatenate that um, provide URL this will be from paper so we're going to add that variable there. and save it okay, I think we have done with what we need all the editing we need to do on this create underscore agreement PHP file all right um okay here a payer type uh, here you set the payment method. I'm going to leave it at PayPal, but if you are, you want to change that, you can also add credit card payments as uh, according to uh, what you want in your development environment. Okay. Now we're going to move to index.php file now. So head back to PayPal websites. We are going to get this configure environment. I'm going to copy this okay then paste it here all right then go back um we'll be needing script that we're going to use to execute our building agreements as well so under here we're going to copy that all these URLs, I'm going to leave their link in the description box so you don't need to worry about them yet. So I'm going to copy that. Okay. Okay, what we'll be needing here is the autoload SDK package for composer based installation. If you have not watched my video, my previous video where I taught how to use composer to download paper vendor folder, please do so. Okay. So, but the the file part for this autoload.php file is not correct. I think we'll have a, a when we open our vendor, then paper PHP SDK before the autoload folder. So we're going to change that and add our paper PHP SDK folder. So it's now in the right file part. Then the next thing we'll do, we are going to add our uh, uh, sandbox client ID here. If you have not watched my videos where I taught how to get a sandbox client client id and also secret id please do so so i'm going to get this there copy that paste it do the same so endeavor to watch my previous video where i thought how to create a paper sandbox accounts and also working cards right now moving this is where we are going to execute the billing agreement after you create the billing agreement the API provides a token in query string parameters okay following the redirect for PayPal payment types after you extract the token we'll call the billing agreement and execute it and uh, perform execution method to complete the billing agreement signing it up to the user for the associated uh, um, subscription purchase okay what I'll be doing here I'll be making some changes in this code okay for my own taste status okay. I think I will not be needing this I'm going to explain what I did here To explain when I'm done.
okay as we can see here this means using an if statement if it's not empty when we get the status using a uh, global get variable looking at this uh, set return url eh? I appended status which is equals to sussex. This is what we're, what we're going to be looking for once the user is being re redirected to this uh, uh, index.php homepage, passing these uh, values in it. So that is what we're going to check here. If it's not empty, the status uh, index name is not empty, it has a value of what? Sussex. If it's not empty, which means run the rest of the code. Okay, that's what that, what that means. But this curly bracket, I'm going to clean it here and add it at the end here. This way, I'm going to be adding it. Okay. <coughs> there you have it. Alright, so you have successfully activated your first user's subscription. Now, this code isn't very useful without storing the information in a MySQL database to manage your subscription you want to offer functionalities like showing the user subscriptions to them and also allowing them to cancel it and possibly a history of the transaction it, it can also be completed in this part mainly because a user can also cancel the subscription directly from their paper website but in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can do it also from your own website by just clicking a button so next thing we're going to do we're going to fetch all the uh, users payment information from paper okay once we execute this agreement i'm now going to fetch agreement details from paper sdk okay this is what we have here this agreement is the agreement id we're going to get that from uh, paper also we're going to also get the payers info from paper then also their payment definitions as well we'll move over to our browser this is where you can get all the different classes needed all the information you need this is where i get them okay from paper i'll leave the link in the description box below all right for the for the payment id which is also the agreement id i'll name a variable the variable name of payment underscore id we're going to get agreement okay i will access the paper given get id okay this will get this our agreement id from here all right then next thing we're going to do we're going to get the state okay So this state get to tell us whether the subscription is active or inactive. Okay. Remember, you get all this from here, from here, right? You access all this from here. Then, what other things do we need? I'll be needing the description. So, variable name, any name you want, I give it the description. Agreement then get description. All these functions are from paper. Alright. Then start date as well. Start underscore date. So get Started function. Right, um, that's the thing that you can get that will not have an object class. It also we also need the payers info and the payment uh, definition. When we run uh, this code and uh, dump, we dump that function like this payment function. We're going to get. Uh, values in as an object class for example we're going to get this okay as we are seeing here i'm going to also leave 
least if you need uh, this script i will also can give it to you so when we overdump the payment like this this is what we're going to get from paper and we cannot dump that in our database directly so we need to assess it individually okay we need to assess them individually all right so for example i'm going to comment that if i want to get the uh payment payment currency but this variable payment is from here okay so what do i want do i want to, what do i want to get after current uh, payment i'll get amount and what is this is where you check it under payment other payment see you get amounts under this amount it has what other values inside currency if you want to get the the value also add the value there okay so access the currency so next one up is if we want to get the, the, the value so we'll change here to value you have here you got the value here as you can see then change this to amount just give it any variable name here. okay the next one up is uh, maybe the payment cycle okay payment cycle So payment, what do you have next? Sorry. We are recycle. Okay, look at our cycles. Our cycle is on its own. So cycle is that. So we don't need this amount. Okay, um, you know currency and value are two, in two different variables but I want to put them in the same variable once I dump them in my database so I'm going to concatenate that and give it a new variable name I might just call it payment value value you know this okay will be my payment value or add both payment Main currency that document amount all right okay and also when we if we will be needing our payer info okay we'll be needing our payer info for this payer info from PayPal, you get the uh, payment information from the user that access uh, the website. When you have dump it, it will give you uh, values like this. To give all this, and most of them are in object class, which you cannot directly insert to our database. So as well, going to assess them individually. Okay, I'll comment this. And don't forget this payment currency is the USD. It will just get the USD, and this payment amount will just get the value which is $29. And payment cycle has to do with number of months which the user is subscribing to. Okay, then this payment value uh, will join both the USD and the amount together, which will, this is what we're going to be dumping in. All right, for the payer info, we will be needing their email the payer's email so just give a variable name player email 
okay we're making use of this variable to get the email so right here yeah. info now So the info is what what we'll be needing is the email we're going this info is from here remember this is from paper this is standard what paper has provided for us so accessing the payer info and what we need from the payer info is the email so when we head back to when we don't pay our info when we dump that this is what we're going to get so where is the email this is the email all right does it have any other um object class no so we just access only that email Next thing up, we'll be needing the payer's um, ID. Okay. In this, you can get every anything that you need. Okay, even the shipping address as you are well pleased. So you want payer info. Okay. Then after payer info, you know, I'm going to head back. Payer info. What you need is the payer ID. Where is the payer ID? There's the payer ID here. Okay. The yeah. underscore ID. Right, we might be needing the shipping address. Shipping variable name. Payer address. I'll just give it another payer address. Let's get the payer name. Payer name first. Payer info. So the payer name to access the payer name. How can we get the payer name? <sighs> okay, we can get the payer name from shipping address. Under shipping address, it has other. Um, index uh, values recipient name which is what this so i'm going to add under shipping underscore address we're going to to get the pen name we're going to get the word recipient name right so I want to paste that. Get this also. Get that also. So we're going to be getting the address. The shipping address has a lot of values. Okay, under shipping address, we get the name. We get get address line one, address line two, city, state, postal code, and uh, country code. So we're going to assess them individually. So first one is what address line one. I change the variable name. Address one. Sorry, not there. Address one. So this is not recipient. This is what? line one line two city so this is line one it is line two it is city remember we'll change the change this address to address two 
going to be different. This one should be the address. Okay. Then the fourth one, you can call it address four. So after city, what else can we get? City, state, postal code, and country code. City, state. It's So we'll call this payer address five. You have to be different. The variable name has to be different. It is state. Oh, what is it again? Postal code and country code. Now, all these addresses we need to concatenate all of them to be in one uh, to have one variable. So, we can give a new variable name, we'll call it payer full address. Full address, okay, just can be any name you want. Under this payer full address, we're going to get this. So be concatenate address line two. address line Here we'll have our address line 6. Okay, this is what it should look like. Okay, the next thing else we're going to do is to dump our variable values into our database. Okay, this is where I have my database connection. I'm making use of localhost. So, my localhost, this is it with a port number of 3308. Um, which is this that's the port number to in order to connect correctly with the root name and password no password to the database name of paper underscore subscription okay um okay so this is uh the database name and this is the table i have your customer underscore details this is all i have so what i'll be dumping into the database is the payment id which is the agreement id the description the start date, the cycle, that's number of months, the states, whether it is active or inactive, the payer's email address, the payer ID itself, then payer full name amount and the full address. Okay, so I've already done that. I'm going to explain what is uh, all the code here. Okay, this is why I included the database um, script the connection okay I included the file here then I'm making use of uh, prepared statement to insert our details into the database as you can see here uh, the statement the MySQL statement is, says insert into customer underscore details which is this uh, customer underscore details having name of what payment underscore id description start day cycle state payer till payer address so these names 
uh, that is here it is what that is here payment id description start date and all that okay then with values of what waste your mark i'm making use of question in order to avoid sql injection it's so like i said of making use of prepare statement and after we have prepared the statement we're going to bind using bind underscore parameter function php function okay so this will be replaced with number of uh, name required so for here i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven the same goes with the question marks it has to be so sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten so the same number has to be ten and separated with a comma okay now making use of this statement assessing we are going to bind the parameter using parameter function then this s has to re it represents uh the strings and integers that will be dumped in the database okay to present this question mark all right so um these are the variables that we're going to be dumping in which are this payment id button from paper from here you can get all that from the here okay under agreement i think you going to get all that <laughs> see get description see under agreement the same thing here under agreement you're going to get description so you get all this uh from paper that's why we'll be dumping here the description which is this the start date remember it has to be arranged accordingly with <coughs> according to the uh database name of uh the details we want to insert okay that's what i have here then after we are bind binded the parameter we are now going to what execute our function so we're going to execute it this statement we're going to execute it then using if statements if is not this exclamation mark which means it's not if this condition is not true that means if it was not executed uh, as expected then we'll have this code running okay then else what are we going to do and then i'm going to redirect the user to success page attaching a name or status with an index value of what success this is this is what i appended and this is what i'm going to check for once the user accesses the uh, success page which is this okay um i think the next thing i'm going to do is is add uh, an exit here just to make sure the the user properly uh what is directed okay so that is it so i'm going to head over to our browser now let me just refresh this uh, unexpected bracket online 13 okay i have too many brackets save that refresh that again okay good so now, <clears throat> so I'm going to head over to my success.php uh, file. I want to show you how to assess this and check uh, for these uh, values. Drop up the page there. So I'm going to use a get uh, PHP global variable inside an if statement. So what this basically means um, 
once a user wants to access this success page without making uh, payments okay it's going to throw the user back to wherever he or she came from okay this means when you check you get this status when this status is being checked and the value is not equal to success this is if it's not equal to this success this code will run but if it is equal to this success this code won't run this page will open to search I will show you what I mean here. Let me first I refresh this an error on line 13. I think I have too many bra uh, brackets. I want to clean it. Go back, refresh. Yeah. Okay. So once the user wants to access the success page, let's assume he or she knows the file name and hit enter. Thing, you can't access it it will throw the user back to index page or back to wherever he or she is coming from okay that's what this code does all right um, so that is it so I'm going to scroll down now under here under this uh, watch underscore video I'm going to append um, in, in, in index name of page equals to completed okay this is what is going to be checked once the user clicks on this stream uh, video button okay once the user clicks on that it's going to check check for these values if he doesn't see it it will redirect the user to wherever he or she is coming from okay but the most secured way to do this is to is to what's it called again is to check the agreement id the one that is being stored in the database with the one with uh paper okay that's the most secured way to do that so um in this home page i want to show this button to only those that have made payments okay so i want to copy and paste uh, these codes in here so what this codes basically means um, I, I just included the database file here with an email variable this is my sandbox email okay why i'm adding this there is because uh you know this this is not a login uh type something if it was where the users have to log in and access their subscriptions i will store the email email uh, name with the section okay but i'm just going to just be using this all right so here I'm, uh, what i did here is to check my database check my customer underscore details uh, table where the payer email is supposed to this variable this is the, my Samba's personal email account that I'll be using. Just like I said before, this if it is um, a platform where different users logs in, okay, I'm going to append the email address that I'm going to check for uh, using the session. Okay, hope you just understand what I mean by that. So this is going to check when I head over back to. Sorry, I've been logged out again. When I head over back to my database. Okay, I'm going to check for the payment ID okay so the payment ID which is also the known as of the agreement ID but I check for that where the user's email is equals to whatever the uh, email they used to pay with on PayPal okay when you check that I'm going to fetch it using my SQLI fetch underscore array function okay then I'm going to check fetch that then dump the the payment id here okay that's where it's going to be dumped then this code right here means i'm going to check the the states okay using the agreement id to check the states with the paypals to check whether if the user has still has an active um subscription okay? if the state is supposed to active it will show this button so if it is not looking at this very if it is not this states variable if it is not equals to active okay if it's not equals active it's not going to do anything that's why i have no code here okay 
but if it is active else else I'm going to echo so I'm going to dock this inside there so I'm going to show this button to the subscribers okay I'm going to use a single code there so I just hope you understand this so this is the more secured way to check our our payment ID, which is the agreement ID, which we stored in the database, and we'll check the one uh, with uh, PayPal to know if it's in an active state or not. If it is not, it will show nothing. Nothing is here, nothing will run here. Okay, but if it is active, it will pop up this uh, stream on stream video button. Okay, for only paid users. All right. Okay, when we hold over now to our watch underscore video php file we can also uh, see what is here okay this is where i have the video streams okay i'm going to also do the same here so only show the videos to only paid uh, subscriber just in case if uh, the user was able to bypass this okay and knows the the name i just appended to this url and also the value if they should know it they are not going to be able to see the video streams okay so I'm going to add that code again sorry I'm going to go back here copy this paste it then else So I'm going to dump this this whole code. All right. So this whole code, this is where I have my video streams that subscribers need to watch. Okay, it's going to be shown to only those that have made successful subscription. Okay, it's looking good. So next thing up now, I think is to cancel our subscription. Okay, next thing to do there to cancel the subscription bet. So it is easy to allow a user to cancel their subscription once you have stored their agreement ID or what is also known as the payment uh, underscore ID name given in the database. Okay, so when we hold over to our cancel underscore sub.php file, um, this is what has been provided for us by uh, PayPal. This is the code to cancel subscription. Okay, so but before then, I'm going to add uh, sorry this code here. Um, basically, as I explained earlier, this will just fetch uh, the payment ID we have in our database, and it checks it, and it will now check the state with PayPal. We record PayPal has on their own uh, platform. When it checks the state, if it is not active. Uh, it will echo this code you do not what have an active subscription else if it's active if it is then active it will now do the cancellation so I'm going to this under here okay um, next thing up um, is to Add the post variable. I think I have a button here. Yes, I have an unsubscribe uh, button here. Okay, um, I'm using form method post. So once the user clicks on this this form, I think I need to include need to include that. So on that code. 
So okay, I've included this uh, this file here. Okay. So now, once the user once the user clicks on this button, okay. I want this code to run so I'm going to add something up here using an if statement if if not empty So I'm going to in this and append it down here. Okay, now if it's not empty and the button is being pushed, this button, the unsubscribe button here with the name what's unsubscribe. That's the name I have here. Okay, once it's not empty and it's being pushed, the button is with this code will run. So after getting the agreement ID from my database, it checks the state with PayPal then it will run uh, the code, okay? Then this variable message, you do not have an active subscription. I want it to be echoed somewhere in the watch underscore, um, watch underscore video.php file. Okay, so I'll be putting the code here. So this is basically what we need to do here, okay? And that is just all we need to do here. Okay, if you learn a new thing, we are now going to go and test our code online. So just still stick with me, okay? Okay, I forgot to define the message variable that will be echoed if the user was if the user doesn't have an active uh, active subscription. Okay, I think I'll be echoing here. So once uh, the the agreement has been cancelled, okay, the subscription has been cancelled. Uh, this is an, a JavaScript alert, okay, to alert this message you have unsubscribed successfully and redirect the user to index page, appending uh, these values as well. Then I also need to add the agreement ID that is being stored uh, in our database okay this agreement is the one that is being fetched from our database all right so i think also we need i need to add the um what's it called the api context so paypal will know the actual account users are going to be unsubscribed from okay having the client id and the secret key as well this is all we need to do so we are now going to head to online and um, do our test okay because we can't do it in this local host the reason because we don't have sss certificates uh, enabled in our local host one server all right so just stick with me all right we are now going to subscribe okay so i'm going to choose number of months i will be paying for which make choose like six months okay i'm going to hit the subscribe button now and wait for it to load okay and remember if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so by hitting that red subscription button okay i'm going to now log in with my paypal um password sandbox Pexina account that is what I'm logging in with. Okay. And I'll click on login. It takes time, but it's going to load up. Okay, while waiting for it to load up, uh, I've already logged into my PayPal business account. This is where I'll be receiving 
all the subscription payments okay all right okay now when we are now going to hit continue or we can choose a way to pay whether credit union you know, or whichever we are we're going to add uh, a debit or credit card we can still we have the option here as well all right See, look at where you can cancel subscription this will direct us back to our index.php file so we we'll click on continue want it to be that way and remember here we can also change this default um, shipping address by clicking this okay but i'll just leave it at that so i'll click on agree and continue so this is processing yes we have successfully made our subscription as you can see okay we are now in success page as you can see look at the um, status uh, name and the uh, index value we appended to it is showing there so we click on this stream video we click on that yes so we are now in the youtube video stream we can now watch videos okay so that is it so when we head over to home now let's be our home now this stream video button is now being shown to us because what we have an active subscription as we have in our index page here see it will echo it when it checks if it is active that's what we did there so we can now directly click that and go and view our videos that we have paid for okay so it won't be shown to those that haven't subscribed uh, to the uh, platform okay now we're going to try to unsubscribe but before then i'm going to head over here and refresh this to know whether we received any subscription uh, payments uh, this might take some time okay it's coming up just stick with me i remember if you have gotten value from this tutorial please hit that red subscription button if you haven't subscribed to the channel for more awesome videos as well it's loaded up now i'm going to scroll down and my notification i'm going to see new subscriptions okay this is new subscriptions started in the last uh, 30 days um, allow it to load up but while waiting for it i'm going to go to my um my database my mysql database and click on customer underscore this is to actually know whether it was inserted yes as we can see our details was inserted uh, payment ID, this is our payment ID, which is the agreement ID. Start date is this. The cycles, as we chose six months, that's why you have six here. Okay. And other information as well. This is the what the payer's uh, address. Okay. Let's go back. All right. This is what we'll have in the last 30 days. The subscription, this we are cancelled, cancelled. And this one is what active. This, I think this one, this is the subscription we just made now having the this is the subscription id see it started with 7 eu let's check it if it's the same we do want to have another database as you can see it's 7 eu and the ending uh, id is g gdm if we go back we can confirm that gdm see so this subscription is active all right see the amount the price is 29 dollars okay start date is september 5th which is today and that is it all right so pay under pay underscore amount this is what we have 29 dollars as well now this is nice so what i'm going to do now i'm going to try and unsubscribe from uh this uh platform so i'm going to hit this subscription unsubscribe button here i'm going to hit that 
see the echo here you have so unsubscribed successfully as we have here under cancel this is what is echoing now so you can see so once i push ok it will redirect me to this uh, index.php page if i push ok it will take me back to that page see it has taken me back to that one and i can no longer see the stream video where i can push and watch the um uh, uh watch the video that i've paid for okay so but even if we 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 assess this watch underscore video.php even if i come here and assess it watch underscore video dot php sorry i can clean this up and um, and somehow i got this value okay when i push enter nobody i can bypass that subscriber as you can see i can't i won't see any uh videos because of what we use the more secured way to check our subscription status okay that's the code which we have here it's only equal to those that have an active subscription see so even if we push on this unsubscribe again this button again it will tell us that we do not have active subscription all right as we have here this is where the echo is coming from see when you checked it and saw that it's not active it to echo this and we can't see this video all right um i think this is the end of today's tutorial please if you, if you have gotten value to this uh uh video i know it's very very long but this is what it is Please just hit that slight like button smash that like button if you learn a new thing and if you have gotten to this point of the video with me i will see you next time